Oh boy. The Sony salt is real. The Sony ponies are enraged. Why exactly? Is it because the Xbox One all of a sudden outsold the PS4? No. Is it because Nintendo announced all these kick-ass exclusive games coming to Nintendo Switch and not PS4? No. Well, what is it then? Remember a little game called Horizon Zero Dawn that came out back in 2017? It was one of the top games of the year. Sold over 10 million copies on the PlayStation 4. Exclusive to the PlayStation 4. Has been exclusive to the PlayStation 4 since... 2017? Well, it's no longer a PlayStation 4 exclusive. What? I mean, are you kidding me? It's a Sony game? And it's not gonna be just on the PS4? Does that mean it's coming to the PS5? No, of course not. Although I'm sure we'll see backwards compatibility, most likely. It's coming to the PC. And everybody's flipping their crap over this. Because... Oh no, their game that's been exclusive for three years is no longer exclusive. Really, guys? I mean, you're not the Xbox guys that have, like, every game of theirs go to PC on day one and even get PC games that don't come to Xbox, like Gears of War Tactics or Flight Simulator. Nintendo, yeah, all of their console games are exclusive, but they have a whole bunch of mobile games that are not on their consoles. You have to have a cell phone to play them. Sony has had the best track record of maintaining exclusives on their platform out of the big three. So is it really that big of a deal that a game that you guys have had for over three years gets to finally be enjoyed by other people? Is that really a problem? Get people talking about Dropping their Sony consoles, not getting the PS5 because of this shit. Just look at the Twitter outrage, it's insane. Now there's some people that of course are trying to be ironic and sarcastic and whatnot, kind of making light of the thing, but there are people that actually think this way. And it's hilarious, it really is. It's so stupid. And I get a crack out of it, I really do, man. I was just cracking up reading all these comments on Twitter from people. So, you know, one PlayStation 4 exclusive goes to PC. whoop de doo You know what? This is not even the first time this happened, guys. They've already announced Death Stranding coming to PC. That's going to be in June. Uh, Neo was previously a PS4 exclusive. It's been on PC for a while now. Um, I'm sure there are examples of other games that I can't think of at the top of my head. But, uh, yeah, good times, guys. Way to really dish it out. <laughs> Sony wins, baby! <laughs> Except when it comes to keeping all of the exclusive games, apparently. You guys are kind of hosed on that, I guess. Oh, well, sucks to be you, I guess. Down Phoenix out.